Even as the coronavirus infection rate in their own state surges, in Indiana this weekend, a protest against a statewide directive to wear face masks. Mask denial in the face of the pandemic is the paradox of America. This weekend, the U.S. passed the 5 million mark in coronavirus cases, by far the most on the planet. If we look at countries like Italy and Spain and France, they have a total of about seven or eight deaths a day, and we have a thousand. Counters the White House with Donald Trump tonight in New Jersey for meetings with supporters. It's working on it. We're working hard on vaccines. We're working hard on testing machines that are portable and fast uh, so that people around the country can be tested quickly. Uh, we're working on therapeutics. You're going to swab the inside of your mouth for 20 seconds. Still, as self-serve testing sites pop up in California with results often overnight, in other parts of America, test results can take a week or longer, say critics, rendering them almost meaningless. Meanwhile, Americans continue to gather big time. More than 200,000 for an annual motorcycle event this weekend in South Dakota. Like Indiana, it's another state already seeing a coronavirus spike. I have no concerns on the COVID-19. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me one bit. Indeed, countless there were without masks. Say critics, it's a potential virus super spreader. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers continue battling each other over how to financially help Americans hurt in the pandemic as numbers in this country continue to grow broadly. Now more than 160,000 dead and counting. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.